The UK Conservative Party is said to be on the right wing and the Labour Party on the left wing. But what does this mean? According to YouGov, the public is confused. For example, wanting renewable energy prioritised is considered a left-wing policy, but the same percentage, 78%, of right-wingers and left-wingers support this. Clearly, clarification is needed. The website The Political Compass divides left-wing and right-wing into two axes, the libertarian authoritarian one and a socialist free market one. The Conservatives are thus a broad church party with varied members. Cameron, for example, passed the Health and Social Care Act 2012 with the help of Andrew Lansley, which was stridently free market in injecting more competition into the NHS. In this, he was on the economic right wing. However, in 2013, he also pushed the gay marriage law through Westminster, which was considered quite left wing socially. Another confusing matter is that small c conservatism, which wants slow, measured change, isn't the same as the values of the Conservative Party. Labour can be small c conservative about specific policies. For example, Tony Blair made a number of constitutional changes, including the Human Rights Act 1998, establishing a Supreme Court and excessive devolution. Some Conservative members want a British Bill of Rights, regard the Supreme Court as an American oddity, and think Scottish and Welsh devolution has gone much too far. Here, the Labour Party of Keir Starmer is being Conservative about change, confusingly. Finally, what is considered right-wing itself shifts left and right. Policy shifts have become more volatile in the last century, partly because in 1911, parliaments were shortened from seven years to five years. To put it grossly simplistically, it seems that the UK has become more right-wing under Thatcher and has since oscillated a bit left and right, but broadly remained right of the post-war consensus. Social policy, on the other hand, continues to march ever leftwards, with previously militant feminism now being normal feminism, the Equality Act 2010, which stifled free speech immensely through giving huge power to arbitrary accusations of prejudice, and lately the nation that one can switch from being a man to a woman when one feels like it, which no doubt will soon become a normal idea too, accepted by all parties. Creeping normality is a massive, insidious change that takes years to manifest, a death by a thousand cuts, as opposed to a sledgehammer blow, but we conservatives must still be on guard for it.